From the KATC Weather Lab, here's Eric's forecast. All afternoon and evening, we've been waiting for this line of showers and thunderstorms to develop. And about an hour ago, it did over the southeastern portions of Texas and is beginning to now make its way into the western portions of Acadiana. So let's jump into it right now and show you that warning that we have ongoing. You can see that line of strong thunderstorms that is now pushed into Vernon and Beauregard Parish beginning to now make its way into Allen Parish. And you can see this box right here is your new severe thunderstorm warning that goes in effect until 1030 this evening as they're continuing to watch this strong line of thunderstorms push off to the south and southeast at 15 to 20 miles per hour. But along the leading edge of this front, there is the possibility for wind gusts up the 60 to 70 miles per hour. That's why the warning's been issued. And we are also seeing some large hail embedded in some of this as we do start to see some of those white shades. That's where we have the possibility some of that hail beginning to develop and falling down to the ground is up and towards the Leesville area. We have gotten reports of an inch and a half size hail with some of the earlier storms that moved through. You can see there is a lot of lightning associated with this as well, so you might get woken up later this evening as this begins to make its way in across your area. It is going to be a very loud thunderstorm system as it begins to make its way in across our region later tonight and in through the overnight hours. As mentioned, there is the possibility for some hail, and you can see some of the hail tracks with this back through Vernon and now making their way into Beauregard Parish where you see some of the blues. That's where we got that possibility for some quarter size hail. So there is that possibility. So we're going to continue to watch these storms as they make their way off to the east. And with that, we continue to have our severe thunderstorm watch that goes all the way towards Acadia Parish and back through St. Landry until midnight. But I wouldn't be surprised if that line sticks together if we see this extended all the way down towards Morgan City for later during the overnight hours. So just make sure you're staying weather aware through the overnight hours and have a way to get those warnings alerted to you should they be issued for your area. Because I do think this line of thunderstorms is going to hold together as it continues to push down to the south and southeast as the area out ahead of this is still really prime. There's a a lot of juice in the atmosphere, so that storm should hold together pretty well through the overnight hours as it makes its way across the Cadiana. So timing this out, we can see those lines back off to the west begin to make their way towards Lafayette around midnight is I think when we'll start to see some of those stronger storms push into Lafayette proper, then begin to make their way towards New Iberia around one o'clock. The heaviest storm should push out by three, four o'clock, but we'll continue to see some light to moderate rains through much of the overnight hours. But waking up tomorrow morning, I think most of the rain is now pushed off to the east. We We'll have some lingering clouds to start off tomorrow morning, but it will be very cool and breezy on the back side of this, which will help dry things out rather quickly. So we're not going to look at any whole flooding concerns with this. It should move through pretty quick and just bring us a nice little soaking for those plants and the trees. So there's the front beginning to make its way through. The storms are just out ahead of that, and that's producing those gusty winds along that little bow echo that will be moving through. And I think around midnight, that's when we'll begin to see some of those stronger winds make their way into Lafayette. Pushing down to the southeast by tomorrow morning, we should end up having a nice day across the area. Plenty of sunshine as high pressure moves in across the area, but it will bring down some northerly cool air and breezy conditions out of the north, anywhere from 15 to 25 miles per sustained. So we're still going to have those winds to deal with throughout much of the day tomorrow. As high pressure continues to move over top the region through the overnight, it will get downright cool by Thursday morning. Temperatures falling all the way into the mid 40s, so you might need to break out the heavier jacket. The good news is that high quickly moves off to the east. We get a southerly flow returning by Thursday afternoon, and temperatures will get back into the mid 70s. Very comfortable for this time of year. But as mentioned, as those storms move through later tonight, we continue to be under the slight risk, mainly looking at the threat for those damaging wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour, but can't rule out some of those hail cores as well as we continue to go through the overnight hours. But again, I think mainly dealing with that sustained winds between 30 to 40 miles per hour as an initial front moves through with some gusts up to 60. So make sure you kind of get those things out of the way so they don't get blown around. But it does look like the tornado threat looks to be very, very low with this now that the storms have become more linear. Hail still looks to be on the marginal size as we could see some quarter size hail, but I think that threat begins to die down and flooding rains don't look to be much of a concern as this should be a quick moving system producing anywhere from a half to an inch of rain. Maybe some areas getting a little bit more than that, but it shouldn't cause any whole lot of issues by tomorrow morning. Temperatures will be cool to start off our Wednesday mid to low 50s, so grab the jacket tomorrow morning out the door. 
and you will probably need it all throughout the day as we we'll only make our way into the mid to upper 60s for afternoon highs. As mentioned, even behind the front, Wednesday breezy throughout our Wednesday, anywhere from 15 to 20, some gusts up to 30 miles per hour. So that will add an extra little chill for our Wednesday as well. So heavy showers and storms, a few on the strong, severe side for the next several hours, but we should turn dry and cooler by morning, 54 for the overnight low. We'll get to a cool and breezy Wednesday, 69 officially for the high, but with those winds, it's only going to feel like the lower 60s, so have the jacket. Morning clouds giving way to plenty of sunshine during the afternoon. Thursday looks great with plenty of sunshine just after a cool start with the temperatures in the 40s. Friday, we do have clouds and chance of some scattered showers Friday evening. Better chance for another round of rain pushing into our Saturday that could possibly have some strong and severe storms as well. So we'll have to watch for maybe the Boudin Festival and the Po' Boy Festival could run into some issues there. Maybe a few stray showers for our Sunday. Another quick system on Monday and then drying out for much of the following week. In the meantime, a late night in the weather lab. It is going to be a late night. Mm -hmm. I'll be here all through the night keeping you updated on Facebook Live. But if they do get worse, I'll be mm -hmm. sure to cut in as well. All right. We appreciate it. Thanks, Eric. Still ahead.